What's going on everyone? You know who it is. It's the M-A-D. H-A-T-T-E-R. And welcome, one and all, to the first ever installment of my new, my new series, so to speak. What the heck, heck. Now, with these... With these vids, I want to be able to talk about different things, whether it be sports, pop culture, music, movies, you know, whatever's on my mind. And what better thing to kick off this first ever installment than with um, NBA free agency? And obviously, the biggest name in free agency was is um, LeBron James. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I have not always been the biggest fan of LeBron James going back to his first stint in Cleveland. And, you know, I thought he was a great player, but, you know, I don't know, maybe it was just, there was something missing, in my opinion. Like, obviously, at that time, you know, my Celtics were doing really good with Pierce, Garnett, and Allen. But even with those three guys, a lot of the attention was mostly on LeBron. And he's a great player and all. But, you know, I was staying focused with, you know, with my Celtics and all. And, you know, their run that they had. But, obviously, the decision back in 2010, you know, changed everything. And I figured, you know, just the way... He left Cleveland the first time. It was just really fucked up. You know, you don't mention them. You don't say anything. You know, it's, you know, he says he's taking his talents to South Beach and all. But obviously, a, a bridge was burned. So I just remember I was so heated. I was so pissed off when LeBron went to... Miami, just the way it, just the way it all played out, just the way it all played out, you know, hoping that, you know, he would never win a championship. Four years, four, four years, a few MVPs, and, you know, a couple of championships later, you know, here we, here we are, here we were again, you know, with LeBron. Deciding what did he want to do? Did he want to go back to Cleveland or did he want to leave? And I remember, you know, watching the, watching, you know, the developments happen. I was thinking, I don't know if he would want to go back to Cleveland after everything that happened. After all the bullshit that went down. After the way he, after just everything that happened, you know, no way did I think he was going to go back. I thought he was going to go somewhere else. I would have liked to see him go to the West Coast so that, you know, it'd be an easier, easier road for, like, the Celtics or, I don't know, any other team. Washington, Toronto, whatever. I figured it'd be easier for them to have, like, an easier path to get to the playoffs. Uh... But the past few days, right before this weekend happened, you know, LeBron, you know, was all there was there was all this talk about how, you know, there were trucks outside his home in Miami, you know, moving trucks and all, and just, you know, what what does this mean? Does it mean anything? And <laughs> you know, little by little, you know, the letter was taken out, Dan Gilbert's letter was taken off the Cavaliers website so I'm like mm, I still don't know I still wasn't convinced and you know I wasn't going to jump to conclusions but in this day and age you never know but as soon as I as soon as I was heading to work on Friday and you know I'm on my Twitter and I am just looking at what's going on and then I see that someone from Sports Illustrated Basically talked to LeBron and from his own words, I said, he said, you know, I'm coming back. And I'm like, wow. 
Now, I just, I was dumbfounded. I'm like, whoa, like, I read, I read the essay. I'm like, you know what? I used to, now, let's get one thing straight. I'm still not a LeBron fan. I'm still not, uh, you know, I'm still not a fan of his. I can respect him, but I, you know, I'm not a Cavaliers fan by any means of the imagination. That's not going to happen. I'm still a Celtics fan forever and ever. But I have gained a, ho a lot of respect for LeBron this time around. Now you're probably asking yourself, what the heck, heck? How can you respect LeBron this time around? Well, it's really simple. If you haven't read this letter that LeBron wrote on the Sports Illustrated website, you should go do so. Because he learned, he learned what it meant to not only be a champion, but he grew up. And I can respect that. He made a mistake. Now, he said that he may have still gone to Miami, but he would have not done the decision. That's, that's maturity right there. If he still, if he still would have done the decision, then forget it. You know, I'd say this video would be, you know, just, you know, fuck you, LeBron, whatever. But you know what? The way he did it this time around, you got to love it. And, you know, he was classy about it. He understands what it means, what it would mean to him to win a championship in his home state. And you know what? I'll be interested to see what happens this year regarding LeBron and the Cavaliers and the talent they have, you know, with Kyrie Irving, with, I'm going to say it right now, with Andrew Wiggins. Andrew Wiggins is not going to get traded for Kevin Love. I'm, I'm sorry. That's not going to happen. I still want Kevin Love to come to my Celtics, but that's another story for another time. But I'm interested to see what happens with LeBron now. That is going back to Cleveland. And the contract is only for two years. He can opt out after next year. But the way I read it, it's not so he can leave Cleveland again and go to another team and ditch them for a second time. That's not what I read. What I read is apparently there's going to be a lockout in the next few years again with the NBA. And that if, say, like the salary, say, like revenue goes up that he's going to get an even bigger extension from the Cavaliers. So that remains to be seen what happens with him going forward. But I'm interested, to, I'm interested to see what goes down with LeBron. And, you know, hope, maybe I'll be rooting for him against Miami because I still don't like the Heat. I still don't like Miami. I still don't like D-Wade and Chris Bosh, who re-upped, who was stupid to stay in Miami and not go to Houston to play with uh, James Harden and uh, Dwight Howard. Five years, $118 million for a guy like Bosch. That's, he, you know, he might have done really well in the spotlight with LeBron and Wade. But that's just too much money for a guy who I think is not that, not that good. You get me? Um, Carmelo Anthony is another guy that was... Um, you know, destined to go somewhere else, but he ultimately decided to stay in New York, and he uh, he signed five years, one hundred twenty nine million. Now, I would have <laughs> personally, I would have liked to see him. I'm being biased. I would have liked to see him come to Boston. I would. There was talk right before the right before free agency of a new big three. Rajon Rondo, Carmelo Anthony, Kevin Love. To me, hell, sign me up. Sign me up. And now you're probably asking yourself, what the heck, heck? Why do you want Carmelo Anthony in Boston? I just felt like if he had gone to Boston, he would have played with a true point guard like Rajon Rondo. And he would have been able to, he wouldn't have to go 10 for 20-something shooting. You know, he'd have... Other players around him. Now, provided if they had gotten Kevin Love and then gone after Carmelo Anthony. But hypothetically speaking, I think those three would have com complemented each other very well. Now, you know, people talk about Carmelo Anthony 
being a ball hog or whatever. Look at the team he has to play with, or he had to play with. Ray Felt, Raymond Felton and Tyson Chandler are no longer on the team. They went to Dallas. They got traded to the Mavericks. And, the, you know, the Knicks got back some decent players. And I'll be interested to see. And they play in, my, in uh, the, the Atlantic Division alongside the Celtics and the Sixers and the, and the Nets and the, and the Raptors. And I'll be interested to see how that plays out going forward as well. Because Mello's, Mello is someone that I used to not like. But in time, I gained a lot of respect for him because, you know, he's a, he's a great player and he wants to win as well. Everybody wants to win. Everybody wants to win a championship. Those who, those who take, it a step notch, uh, take, a, take it a step forward are those that will truly win a championship. Now, in terms of if he'll win a championship in New York... With Phil Jackson as GM, with Derek Fisher as coach, only time will tell. Uh, who's another guy? What other guy? Oh. Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce, my favorite player ever. My favorite player growing up. My favorite Celtic ever. Always a Celtic. Going to Washington to play for the Wizards. I'm happy about this move for a couple reasons. Number one, he leaves Brooklyn and that mess that they had. Number two, uh, he gets to play with, you know, promising young players like a John Wall and a Bradley Beal. And, you know, he, I would have liked to see him come to Boston again, but I know he's going to be back in Boston when it's all said and done, sign a one day contract Retire Celtic, have that number 34 retired up in the Raptors alongside 33 and 6 and 17 and all those other numbers. So I just can't wait for when that happens. But for the next year and uh, year or two, Paul's going to be playing in D.C. And, you know, they were two games away from the Eastern Conference Finals last year. They re-signed Marcin Gortat to a long-term deal. That means that they're trying to go for it, or almost go for it this year. So you have to applaud them. Uh, Pau Gasol, he's going to the Bulls. He's leaving the Lakers. Great move for Chicago. Three years, 20-something million. That team has a big question mark, in my opinion, in Derrick Rose. Can he be healthy? Can he be, can he be, you know, the MVP that he was three years ago? Um, is he one more injury for him? And you got to think he's, he's done. And that, that's me. You got to think that he really needs to, he really needs to stay healthy and be the Derrick Rose of old because he's a great player. And, where he goes, so go the the Bulls. And you know, with the with Noah and with Gasol, that's gonna be a great team with Taj Gibson and Jimmy Butler as well. So the Eastern Conference really got better, not just because in spite of what LeBron did, going back to Cleveland. You know, there's a lot more parity now in the in the Eastern Conference than there was the past few years. Um, what does this mean for my Celtics? <laughs> well, keeping Avery Bradley was not something I wanted. Uh, great defender, but that's about it. He gets hurt too much. He gets, uh, yeah, he gets hurt way too much. Obviously, the potential is there, but I, I don't know what's going to happen this year with him. Uh, I really hope that the Celtics can try to get Kevin Love. I think he would be a great, great compliment to Rajon Rondo. I hope that the Celtics can keep Rondo long term because he's someone that I would build around. And a lot of people, a lot of Celtics fans that 
I've I've seen on the internet, you know, or like, nah, trade Rondo. He's a cancer. He's he's you know a bad guy. Blah 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 blah. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Seriously, seriously, and it's you know obviously with the way the Eastern Conference is, it anything can happen. Anything can happen. I just hope that the Celtics can make the playoffs. I'm not asking for Banner 18 this year, but at least make a step forward. I don't want to go through rebuilding and people talk about tanking when we're no when we know we're not going to get the number one pick. So those are my thoughts. Um, that's all I got to say right now about NBA free agency. Now this is where you guys come into play. Tell me what you think of this vid. I I got some more topic vids to uh, to come, and then in the next few in the next few weeks, tell me something of what you want to talk about. The YouTube community, uh, have people subscribe to my page. Um, I'll leave my Instagram link on the bottom somewhere uh, because I'm on Instagram. I post pics. I do a lot of Woman Crush Wednesday, <laughs> which, you know, is something I like doing. Um, but yeah, hope you guys like this vid. This is one of many new vids that I'm going to be doing, talking about a lot of different stuff. And shout out to all you guys. And I can't wait for this to really take off because I'm really looking forward to what goes on next so until then guys subscribe if you haven't subscribe subscribe and until then it's a mad mad world i'm just running it one